Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. This is going to be a monthly reading for the sign of Libra. I hope you guys are doing lovely. I know we're into March already, only a few days. Nevertheless, it's not too late to gain some insight, Libra. It's going to be a love reading, okay? It's going to be a love reading focused for those that are single, focused for those that feel independent from any form of relationship. This may be individuals that are getting to know someone or this may be individuals that don't have anybody that aren't cultivating a relationship at all all right for those that feel single what's going on with those guys in the month of march in their love life we get one more shuffle all right holy shit well, to those single Librans, it seems as if there's going to be an opportunity that's coming, okay? An opportunity for something new, ladies and gentlemen, and we're going to see what. And look, with this card being here in the challenge position, Libra, I don't know why I'm getting the sense that you may have difficulty being vulnerable, okay? So be weary what it is that, or be weary about how it is that you behave when opportunities for cultivation of a relationship come about. All right. It seems as if you're working through some sort of emotional turbulence. You may be getting over something. You may be trying to find some sort of emotional peace. And due to this, you may be a bit, you know, resistant toward vulnerability. Libra, it seems as if you've been in some sort of stagnancy for quite some time. All right. This is what I'm seeing here in the past. Now, in the month of March, it seems that from the stagnant energy, there's a new opportunity that's coming your way. And we're going to look deeper into this in just a moment. Libra, it is quite overt that you may find yourself in a, I don't want to say dreadful energy when it comes to your life, to your love life, but more so pessimistic. I don't, I don't get the sense that you're too happy. Okay. You're not absolutely content with where you find yourself in your love life. All right. However, there's someone that is coming to you. All right. In this near future, ladies and gentlemen, we've got a king of wands. A king of wands is a very confident individual, someone that exudes confidence, someone that, you know, would it be classified as the life of the party. OK, this is someone that draws attention with their presence and you are appearing as the queen of cups. The King of Wands and the King of Cups. This is water and fire, all right? So who, whomever's coming towards you, Libra, know that, that they are very different from you, okay? They are very different from you, and I'm getting the sense that you're very, you're very much going to be drawn to this individual if you aren't already, you know, engaging with them. But let's see, <clears throat> does Libra know this individual? Have they met this individual? Is this an absolutely, completely new? Nope, this is already an existing relationship. All right, this is someone that is simply coming into your life to bring about the opportunity for something new to ensue within your love life. All right, so this isn't a new individual per se, but this is a new opportunity with someone that you already know. All right. Now, Libra, it seems as if you are in a position where you can offer yourself in a relationship. Okay. It's most certain that again, there's emotional turbulence here that's existent. However, Libra, this is a significant time. This is a significant opportunity because I feel that the reason why I say that is because I feel that this can very much be the catalyst to you closing out a cycle. All right. You closing out a cycle and the potential within this connection is something that is apparent. All right, ladies and gentlemen, 10 of 10 of coins, absolute stability, groundedness. This is the all in all when it comes. This is the last tarot card. It's card number 78, ladies and gentlemen, the 10 of coins. All right. With that said, what this entails is it exudes its stability, its groundedness. Furthermore, with the four of with the four of wands, this is absolute marriage. All right. Marriage energy. I'm not saying that you're going to get married, but what is marriage energy? It's reliability with between two people. It's 
mutual acknowledgement of the significance of the relationship, so on and so forth. All right? You are ready, Libra. You are ready to engage and open yourself up emotionally, whether you think it or not. Okay? This situation, like I mentioned, can very much be the catalyst to you closing something out and opening up a new chapter in your life. Look, ladies and gentlemen, I'm inclined to tell you that many times we go through difficulty. All right, we go through difficulty and we tend to close off emotionally when new opportunities come our way because we went through some sort of challenging situation. What we got to keep in mind is that what we tend to do as humans is that we tend to impose previous situations onto new situations. So <clears throat> here's an example. You could have been dealt, uh, you, could have, you could have dealt with someone that cheated on you. All right, this is just an example. Well, now you moved on from that situation, so you think, but you're still holding on to that experience. You meet someone new and now you're weary, you're overly cautious, you're distrustful, and you know, you're distrusting towards this individual, so on and so forth. And that, that is why I'm wanting to emphasize what I'm telling you is that many times we tend to project past experiences onto new experiences. Beware of that, Libra. Beware of that, because I'm telling you, what it seems to be coming around is can very much be the catalyst to a major change, all right? A major change in your life. Tell me more about this energy here. Whomever it is that's coming towards Libra, why are they appearing? This is someone that has, this is someone that's been around you, all right? I don't know how long, ladies and gentlemen, but someone that you already know. This individual has been quite keen to connecting with you for quite some time. There is most certainly some sort of like uh, a lustful energy, which I don't mean in a negative connotation. It's just a very sexual energy. This individual may have a, a high sex drive. This individual may be very passion driven. Um, they, they're certainly attracted to you on, on a physical level. All right, tell me more about this individual. <clears throat> this individual wants to explore you all right and they are taking action to do so libra all right they're taking action to do so that is what i'm seeing here tell me about this five of cups the five of cups is again thinking pessimistically ladies and gentlemen look if you find yourself experiencing negativity here in march when it comes to your love life libra you can know that you can change this by changing your perspective all right, tell me about this is five. Yes, you see, this card entails past hurts. This card entails perseverance, pushing forward through difficulty, right? This is a card of the wounded warrior. The wounded warrior continues to fight despite his wounds. All right, know that if you are experiencing a sense of grievance and you're looking at your love life or a situation, a relationship or the past as a loss or through a lens of negativity, it is because these past hurts, ladies and gentlemen. It is because these past hurts. And through a change of perspective, all right, by, by actively seeking to change your perspective, you're going to change the energy within yourself. And you're going to align yourself with, some, with a different form of experience. Look at these two cups. These two cups. The two of cups in the tarot is two lovers exchanging their cup of love with one another. And that is the potential all right, that is the potential so long you change your perspective, Libra. All right, so you got the opportunity for a new experience in an existent relationship. You are single, you're detached, all right, you may not be engaged with anybody, you may have someone within your proximity. Well, the, the, the opportunity is coming, Libra, in the month of March. All right, let's just take a curious look here. What will ensue between Libra and this individual if Libra is to be open to this individual? Okay, again, more fire energy, the Page of Wands. Communication, the page is all about exploration. So if you're to open up to this individual, this is, this is gonna be something new. It's gonna be a new experience. Think of it as, as the page, okay? The page is a young boy that is roaming outside of the kingdom, exploring the outside world. This is all new to him. 
Okay? He doesn't know what's beyond the gates of his kingdom, but he's going out and venturing. That is what lies. That is the sort of energy. Okay? I'm not telling you to embody this boy here. What I'm telling you is this energy, the motive, the perspective of this individual is the experience that lies in, in your future if you're to open up to this individual. Tell me more about the potential that lies here. So long, Libra walks this path. All right. This individual may be someone that can very much be a lesson. All right. Libra, look, here's the two of cups. The two of cups, ladies and gentlemen, look, I feel that this situation, this relationship is something that's, that's rocky. All right. Someone from the past is coming around. Libra. They're coming around with and bringing about the opportunity for something new. All right. However, there's some old baggage here. There's some old baggage that I feel has not been dealt with. And I feel that, that it, it can be a bit, it can stir you the wrong way. And this can lead to disputes. This can lead to friction. All right. Can this be resolved if these individuals are to work together? Can this be resolved so long, these individuals? Yes, this can very much be resolved. All right, I'm telling you. The chemistry here is overt. The chemistry is overt. Okay, ladies and gentlemen? It's quite clear. Is it going to be easy? No. But, Libra, it seems as if you're getting attention that you desire. It seems as if, you know... What has ensued in the past was not to your liking, but the opportunity to come together and bring about something new, to cultivate something new, is coming your way this month of March. This is what I got for you guys. I will see you guys soon.